Hi everyone and welcome back. In this new video we are going to write React YouTube application. So YouTube already providing some APIs through which we can consume the YouTube data like you can search something, you can get your playlist. Uh, if you are typing something then you can get the search result based on that. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to build a small React application to understand the actual uh, React component development, the data flow how to manage the state, how to manage the props and how the data communication is happening. So this is the outcome we are going to get from the React component, React application once we are done. So you can see what we are going to build with this. You can actually divide this whole application into different parts. I will say there is a search bar, there is a video detail page and there is a video list. Okay. So in this component, in this whole series, what we are trying to show all these different things, right? So if we divide it into components, there are majorly three components I can see. Search bar, video detail page and video list page. Even if we can further divide this video list page into video list item components because it's a list. So there is a list as a parent component and then list item is a child component of that. So this is the smallest component we have. Outside we have a list component, then we have video detail and then we have one wrapper component which is wrapping everything inside a root component. So whenever you are typing something here, TK Sarma code lab or something, what we are doing is we are making an API call and that API call is actually triggering the API access to the YouTube APIs and we are able to get the data. So if I just do, I mean there is a debounce throttle already added. So we are able to get the partial data. Okay, so when you are typing something into this, what is happening? You are making an API call from this component. We are uh, triggering an event to the parent component. That parent component will get the search keyword. Okay, this is what you have entered. It will make a YouTube API call, get the YouTube data. And from that YouTube data, the first video we are putting here as a detail page and rest all videos we are adding in the list component. So that list item can read individual item using for loop okay and then we are able to show the image and the video detail the video title video thumbnail all these things we can show okay so data communication is happening something like this when you type something in the search bar you are triggering the event to the parent component parent component on this event will make an api call will get the data and pass the data to the video detail component and pass the data to video list item component if we just try to inspect and see this i'll just uh, inspect the whole component tree so here is the whole list search bar component here in the search bar component we have a state term and whenever you are doing any change in this we are triggering handle change method and sending this event to the parent component you can see the state of the parent component is this Okay, so whenever you are changing anything from the search bar, the event you are triggering to the app component, app component will be making an API call and will be fetching this data. So we are having videos and selected videos. We are going to get the data from the YouTube API. Zeroth index of that array of data we are setting in the selected video and the rest all we are adding in the videos tab. Okay, now you can see this data further you are passing to the video detail. If you see the video detail, the props, because in the app component, we have all the data and we are passing that as a props in video detail and video list. You can see here we are getting videos in the video detail. We are passing the single video object, which has the, just a title, snippet, thumbnail URL and all these basic things. Okay. Now video list, all the array we are passing here. And then further in the video list, we have video list item component. Right. So this is the component hierarchy we have in the video list item. We are getting finally single video object. Okay. And whenever you are clicking on any of the video, we are actually calling on video select method on video select will actually do nothing, but it will make that video as a selected video. So when you are clicking on video select, it is going to go to the app component and it will actually update the selected video to that video where you have clicked on. Okay, so this is very basic and this is how we are going to do it. You can see I clicked on to it. 
so these are actually my channel videos react full stack react channel javascript and all these things so when you click on it we are triggering an event and we are making that video as a selected video and then you can play it it's like a youtube iframe there i am just putting the url and i am able to play that video here okay so what we will do is we will just write component one by one we will be writing some as a functional component some as a class based component functional component we haven't talked much but functional component will just write functions without any state and later we will add the state in the functional component with the help of hooks we are going to talk about after few set of videos okay thanks everyone